good day and good vibe, and welcome to another episode of Chill Art. Chill Art is a public service program of the Leesburg Center for the Arts. The program's goal is to help people shift focus to the positive. Body mind experts and guest contributors from across the country volunteer to present their mindfulness modalities and give our viewers tools to better cope during challenging times. Then, after their presentations, we walk you through a short, no artistic ability required art project. Think of them as fun, creative, moving meditations that calm the soul and raise the spirit. This episode of Chill Art is being recorded in April. And what is celebrated in April? Both Arbor Day and Earth Day. Hello again. My name is Pat Gilmore, and I'm an environmental artist. Much of the art that I create is made of natural items that I forage from the woods, or the shore, and sometimes even urban parks. I then arrange those items into designs, many times, right on the spot. Those creations are made in a state of flow, mindfulness, being in the now. It's that creative zone where time and external thoughts just disappear. I think of the process as a moving meditation. This is when my mind goes into a type of autopilot and intuition takes control. My body moves and stretches as I place my materials, and I'm no longer separate from the art. I am part of the art, and you can be too. I'm going to show you several images of my earth mandalas in hopes to inspire you to get outside and get into nature. The outdoors is filled with so many different colors, shapes, textures, and aromas. I love creating with what I call nature's paint box. When you gather materials yourself, when you engage in the tactile experience right on site and do so without any preconceived plan, you are in a magic place inside you and outside in nature. You become the instrument, your hands, and you become the music your art. So to inspire you and to motivate you, I'm going to guide you through a short meditation to connect you to the earth and to help you feel more calm, balanced, and grounded. This will be an open-eyed meditation while images of big and small earth mandalas dissolve from one to another. Sit up straight, but comfortably in your chair. Take any pressure off your lower back. If you need to use a pillow or a rolled towel, get it now. Place your feet flat on the floor. If it's cool, cover up. Take the time to feather your nest. You can pause the recording until you get set and then click back in. When the guided session is finished, I will be back to show you which helpful tools I carry in my pack when I think that I might be creating and photographing in nature. Okay, all set. Let's begin the meditation. This is an eyes open meditation, but if you find your eyes closing, that's okay too. We start with taking in a long, slow, deep breath. Then roll it out all the way down to your feet. That's right. Again, take in another long, slow, deep breath. And as you roll it out, and down. Imagine it carrying any stress away. Let it be absorbed by the earth beneath you. Once again, breathe in and out, knowing that the earth is always here to support you 
It's your firm ground. You can feel safe and secure in that. Now, invite your physical body to just gently drop into the earth. Just feel your connection. Feel it as it's a big, warm hug that's always been there to support you. Just release any tension into it and let go. Let gravity take over. Feel your muscles and tendons smoothly surrender to calm safety. There is no need to hold on. The earth is carrying you. Still with eyes open, enjoy viewing the images of the nature mandalas, the earth mandalas, and the elements from the woods and the shores dissolving in and out. Just notice how pleasant they make you feel. The balance and symmetry of the designs make you feel more calm and happy. You can actually feel the sides of your mouth rising up into a soft, effortless smile. See the colors and the shapes and the textures pictured in front of you? You can almost smell the aromas of the outdoors. Perhaps you can. Perhaps your imagination brings back smells of the past to this present moment. Sensory memories of the beach, the forest, or the mountains. Perhaps the sounds are also remembered and give you a beautiful sense of peace and connection to the outdoor natural world. How nice. These things nurture us deeply. And even though we don't have physical roots as trees do, we are firmly planted in our home. Our home. The earth. Knowing this is very important because knowing where your body is coming from, where it's nurtured from, opens you up to feel safer, calmer, more supported, and more grounded. Doesn't that feel wonderful? We're not talking only about balancing the body. Consciously connecting to the earth brings so much more support and balance into all parts of you, body, mind, soul. And remember, what you focus on grows. Feeling more supported in life means feeling less fear, because much of our fear comes from the feeling of separateness, the feeling of belonging to our home, the earth, helps us to follow our true calling and purpose. It helps us to connect with others, fellow human beings, animals, plants, and more. We are all from and part of the earth, and we must protect it, honor it, and celebrate. Okay, what's in my pack on a normal day when I'm going out to the woods and even the beach? Well, number one, water. Don't think that you don't need to carry water. It's really important. Uh, dehydration can come very quickly, and there are many other uses for water that you might find on the trail, so don't leave it in the car. It doesn't take that much extra energy to carry a bottle of water. I uh, use a bug repellent. I like the lotion instead of the spray. Sunscreen. This is isopropyl alcohol. I actually have it in a smaller bottle usually. 
And that's great that if you scratch yourself on a thorn or encounter poison ivy, even can spray your boots on that one. I'm not sure if it helps that much, but it's great to have it. Uh, some sort of Kleenex paper towel, uh, toilet paper, you never know. A mask, because you're not sure if you're going to run into strangers on the trail, and it's good to put your mask on. Speaking of trails, if you are on trails, if there is a kiosk and you can pick up a map, it can be very important uh, and very beneficial. I actually got lost once and had to call the number of the, uh, it was a state park up north, and say, hey, I'm not going to get there before closing of the gate, uh, so wait for me. I got a little uh, lost. <laughs> okay. Now, for mandala making, I like to carry this skewer. You don't need to. You can simply take a stick from the ground and put it in the ground. And I carry jute or a little bit uh, heavier duty or string if I'm doing a large mandala. One of the pictures that you saw in the slideshow was me on the beach uh, using a piece of string to create the circumference uh, that I wanted. So you just take a string and roll it out and walk around and that's one way to get a really nice circle. Then I have scissors. These are really beet scissors. I wouldn't use them on paper. And my clippers. So this is an important do and don't part. Do bring them. Do use them on things that have fallen on the ground. Perhaps you want to even up sticks so they're all the same size or clip leaves. But don't clip things off the trees <laughs> or clip the flowers, especially if it is in a preserve or a state park or anywhere that says don't remove anything or don't cut anything, don't disturb anything. It's truly important when you're making earth art or any other time is to follow those rules. They're there for a reason. But if it's your own property, you can do whatever you want. So that is one thing that I want to make very clear, that don't go cutting things off of trees. And then there's one more thing that should be in your pack, and that is your camera, your cell phone, your uh, tablet, something to take an image with. Many images. So we're going back to this part that we have every time. Take images of your artwork, your nature mandalas that you have made, crop them up, and send them to us at lcfa.buzz at gmail.com. That's lcfa.buzz at gmail.com. And we will put them up under episode 17. It's a great way to share the joy of nature is to be able to share them with friends online. And you can do that at our website, leesburgarts.com backslash chillart. That's leesburgarts.com backslash chillart. And also on our YouTube. Our YouTube has now 17 episodes uploaded. So go on in if you ever need a, a stress relief break or inspiration for an art project. We're here. We're happy to help. <laughs> this is participatory, kids. Send us your photos, and I can't wait to see what you do. Today, I am hiking around Flat Island Preserve, and I'm finding the greatest stuff. Look at the texture of this moss on this log. Oh, it's just crying out for use me and some earth art on the spot here in the woods. Of course, Spanish moss, but look at how lush it is here. And over here, I'm not climbing the tree, but look at some things blooming up there or just past. Beautiful, peaceful day. There's liquid amber here, though I'm not finding many gumballs. It's just gorgeous. So come along with me. Let's see what we find.